YouTube, what's going on? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a, a high taper. I know it's been a minute since I dropped the video, but we're gonna be back. I'm back making new content and all that. But first off, you wanna start off by combing out the hair. I combed it out, but I guess it didn't record that part of me doing it. So I got the uh, one guard open with one guard with the lever open for those who don't know what that means. But she had an afro and she wanted to go back to wave so that's why I'm cutting that one. I'm just combing out the hair before I put in that first guy line. All right, so first we're gonna put in that ball line. She, she, she getting a high taper, so you kind of want it above the ear. But I'm just making sure everything bought it out below that line. All right, next I got my lever open on my clippers. I'm going up about half an inch. You just want to make sure everything even. After that, you want to try to take that, that ball line out that you said in the first time. Close the lever and try to flick at that bottom line. You might not get it out, so here I'm getting my trimmers. Trying to flick out that line. Trying to get out that guideline that I couldn't get out with the uh, zero guard. Then I have on my one and a half guard open, and I'm not setting the guideline. I'm basically just trying to clear out that bolt that's at the top, since her hair is already cut to a to a one and a half. So I'm I have a I'm really using the two against the grain. So I'm really not setting the guideline. I'm just clearing out bolt. All right, for the neck taper. It's literally the exact same steps. So you wanna make that first ball, that first ball guideline. With this, with this fade, it was kind of tricky because I had my light in the middle and I had to go from side to side every time. So it was kind of difficult for me to see. But I, I still got it together though. So, but you wanna just make sure you get all that hair below that uh, ball line. Get all that out the way. So next, I'm going in with my lever open. I got, since I'm doing the neck taper, you got a little bit more room, so I'm going up about an inch. And then again, you just wanna make sure everything even. All right, next, I got my, my lever closed. And I'm just going up little by little, I'm just trying to flick out that uh, flick out that guideline. And you want to open up as you go up in the fade, open up the lever as you go up in the fade. So with these clippers, they have they have notches on them, so it's kind of easier for me to to fade because it goes up notch by notch. And as you go up in the fade, you use each notch as you go up, so you should get a, a good fade as you go up. Alright, but next, I'm gonna uh, use my one guard open. 
and I'm going up about an inch. I'll probably say this is probably one of my this probably one of the clients with one of my clients with the most difficult patterns. Like her hair goes down and she just goes turn straight to the left. But it, it's it's still cool though because with that you just want to make sure you you go you cut with the grain. I mean against the grain when you fade it. So just go against the grain, uh, go against the way the, the the hair grows. But I'm just trying to make sure everything even. It's not gonna get that guy line out that y'all see, but it's gonna lighten it up for my for my zero guard. All right, now I got my zero guard closed, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play with it a little bit. Same thing I did with the uh, with the side taper. And I like the I, don't, I like the detail in the fade. I try to get all the details like while I fade, cause it's not gonna be perfect. But now I'm just going in with my leather, my uh, leather clothes, and I'm just trying to get out that. I'm just trying to get out what I couldn't get out with that uh, zero guard. But with this one, you really just have to play with it, play with the lever a little bit, and try to get out any dark spots that you see, so you can get your the, the fade that you want. All right, next I got my one and a half with the lever open, and the same thing with the with the uh, high taper. I'm going up. I'm kind of not. I'm not sending the guideline. I'm just trying to clear out the bolt, and I'm just trying to make sure that I get everything even at the same length. All right, now I got it closed. Trying to click out that guideline. All right, now I have my uh, my one guard with the lever open, and I'm trying to get out what I couldn't get out with the one and a half. Guard. So I'm about to do the lineup. Before I do that, I want to go over the top of her head and get all the, the loose hairs off I do that at first because when I before I line her up you can get what you call overhang like you might line her up one time and then it's like gonna be hair that's hanging above what you lined up so I do that first to get all the hair out the way and here I'm just checking out her hairline she got she kind of got a she her hair growing back from a pushback hairline so I'm just analyzing to where how I'm gonna line her up so I have to, with her hairline, since it's so light and it's still growing back, I'm just lining it up. Like, I'm kind of ghost lining it to where it's going to go back natural. But I'm throwing enhancements on her anyway, so it's going to be a little, it's going to be a fire cut at the end. Just going to, we going to work, work past through all them, these light spots. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't put any spritz on her. I do that after I line her up and with, with the razor so everything can lock in place. And it's it's easier for the fibers to move when you line her up instead of when you, before you put the spritz on. So that's why I don't put the spritz on before I do that. And here I'm just combing in the fibers and I'm gonna hit it one more time just so I can get everything in a, in a good place. Get a natural, natural looking line on. Basically, 
Or you just following the same line you just created before that? Barbara Magic Pencil uh, with her with her skin tone. You want to use the, the brown one because it's going to get off a it's going to give off a better uh, a contrast when you line it up with the razor. But when you apply this, make sure you just apply it. Don't put it on the hairline. Put it just sitting right next to it. If y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Try to try to get rid of that. Try to try to fade in that that uh, pencil line because try to do the best you can. But I'm gonna hit it with the razor, so it's gonna get rid of that you know that line. All right, now with the razor, make sure you just pull that skin so you won't nicker. I know y'all like what type of shot this is. Man, I had to, I had to hurry up and get this shot. My phone's about to die, so I really, I was just moving the camera around. I ain't even look at it. But yeah, man, we just got it together though. We got it before and after. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, tell y'all friends, repost, follow me on IG at Cuss by 